Hi everybody, welcome back to the Dahlia Society. Today I'm gonna to show you my must make summer dresses. Today I'm gonna to show you all my woven ones that I just fell in love with last year. The ones that I wore the most that I know you guys are gonna love. I'm gonna take you through a little bit of a fashion show. I bought you inside of course, because it makes it a bit easy for me to do a quick change. I thought you might enjoy seeing the full length versions of each dress and I can talk you through what I loved about them. And I can also link each episode to show you either my sew along, like for this one, for example, I did a sew along for this, um, or any reviews that I've done on past patterns as well. So stay tuned. I hope you enjoy it. This is a perfect time if you haven't already done so to subscribe to my channel, hit that little notification bell, and then you will be alerted to any new episodes that are coming out. So I'm gonna do a little series on my must make dresses. This week, of course, they're all wovens. Next week, I'm gonna show you my favorite summer knit dresses. These are all the indie patterns that I've loved and made and worn to death through summertime. And I'm also gonna take you through my favorite big four summer patterns, mainly which are very easy Vogue because they are the ones I love the most. These are in no particular order. So I'm just gonna talk you through each dress that I love and what I love about them. This is the Wixton shift dress. I've made one of these in a linen. I absolutely love it. The ease and comfort. They're really easy to make. They're very breathable, cool. You can dress them up or down and you can wear them with a belt or without the belt. So I'm gonna stand back and give you a little bit of a look. As you can see, this one is in a mustard linen. I've got little front pockets and a little tie belt. I've done a sew along with this. I will link that episode so you guys can watch along with me. This one has got little side splits. It's just a lovely basic to make. And at the back, you'll see the gather along the yoke. That just gives you all the ease you need. There are really no problems with fit because there are no closures at all, no zips, no buttons. So very beginner friendly. You can make it in a top, you can make it in a long sleeve, you can make it in a dress in two different lengths as well. So I'm actually planning on making another one of these in long sleeve, probably for our winter. But yeah, really, really great dress to wear for summer if you want something that's easy to throw on that feels like you're wearing almost like a caftan, but it's dressy enough that you can pop a belt on and you can hit the town in this. So, yep, great with flats or heels as well. So, yeah, love the Wixton shift dress. Very happy with it. And I'll show you my next dress. The next must make summer dress I have fallen in love with is the Tazuti Alice dress. Now, this has got to be the most comfortable thing I have that I own in my wardrobe that I've just worn again and again. And I've seen it being made in a blouse form as well that people have worn over jeans. I love the drape, the fall. Of the, I love this sort of front yoke style with the gathering. I think it's really flattering on a lot of different body shapes. And the pockets, of course, give it a great, uh, a great easy wearable look. So I'll give you a look at this and see what you think. This is the Alice dress by Chizuni Fabrics and Patterns. Of course, one of my most favorite pattern companies ever. And yeah, really happy with this one. So another favorite dress pattern of mine. I will get changed and show you the next look. This is the next dress I'm gonna show you from Starlight Patterns. It's the Montana dress. It was my first Starlight pattern that I ever made. I was always a bit concerned about the instructions on Starlight, but I found them to be pretty sparse for a beginner sewers, but if you're fairly confident sewers, you won't have any trouble at all following their patterns. I love their drafting. I think they're, they've got just the styling perfect. And the reason I love the Montana so much is that I know it can be made in a knit or a woven, which is fantastic because you're getting sort of double for your pattern dollars. Another very comfortable, easy to wear dress that I know you're gonna love just for sort of breezing around in when you wanna be cool and comfortable, but also when you wanna look stylish, well put together. So I'll show you this. This has got pockets in the side seams as well. Very light and floaty, drapey style fabrics, but yes, also also jersey or knit fabrics can be done in this as well. Um, yeah, I'd love to make this in a knit. I just think on the pattern envelope, there is a lady wearing a lovely aqua blue teal color that looks perfect as well. So she started with a belt. It's the sort of thing you can wear also for winter if you wanna put like layered, if you wanna wear a top underneath, I think it would work really well. This is the Montana, another favorite of mine from last summer, but definitely reach for this again and again. Or as soon as you try it on, you just know if it's a winner or not. And this definitely for me was one of my favorites. Very easy to make, has got the double lined bodice. 
easy to put together and you've got all those nicely finished things because you've got your your inner facings all in one so little cap sleeve yeah really nice easy style to wear on to the next one i'm back this is the closet case charlie caftan an absolute favorite of mine heading for three years old now still wear it every single summer because i just find it so lovely and comfortable cool in a lovely floaty rayon but you can also make it in a more uh, structured fabric like a cotton or a linen i've seen it done in the shorter version as well as the long i love anything to do with a maxi dress i'm all over it um yeah just love that whole sort of boho relaxed feel you can wear it to the beach but you could also wear it out to dinner depending on your shoes you can really um dress it up or down and i love the side pockets and the side splits that come quite sort of all up to nearly the knee so quite a little bit more daring but i think it just gives it that lovely cool feel um yeah definitely love these maxi style dresses i love the v the deep v and the placket at the front that has the waist ties sewn into so you can sort of draw it in the back give you that bit more shape so definitely uh, one of my favorite all-time patterns that I, I don't know why i haven't made more because every time i wear it out i will always get a compliment um, I just think it's the sort of dress that appeals to a lot of people. But yeah, it's so nice and comfortable. Um, it was a little bit more of an intermediate make. I know when I first made it, I was still um, finding challenging patterns a little bit more difficult. It sort of uh, had a few details I'd never done before. Like your placket bit on the front here was a little bit more involved than I would have thought. But now looking back, um, I'm a bit more confident with my sewing. It would be quite easy to tackle. Um, yeah, so I absolutely love this in the rayon print. You can, I've worn it for winter as well. I've worn it with um, like a plum colored um, merino and that looks great as well with sort of boots. Uh, yeah, so it's a great transitional piece. Like most maxi dresses, you can actually wear them through winter or summer because you can layer them and wear jackets over them and tights as well. So I just love that little, that sort of cap sleeve. But definitely having that waist tie gives you that little bit more definition, a bit more shape without being uncomfortable. So I think any dress, mainly what I've chosen for you today, all of them really have no closures and no buttons. So they're, they're gonna appeal to the beginner sewist. Um, yeah, an easy make that you can just throw on for mainly for comfort and for feeling cool and put together for summer. My love affair with patterned rayon. You can see it's my number one pick for dresses for summer, especially because I just love the print and the cool, nice drape it gives your dresses. So this one, is, as I said before, I wasn't gonna pick things with fastenings or zips, but I had to let this one sneak in because I love the definition that gives you the style and the shaping. This is the Tazuti Lois dress. Now I had seen a lot of people who have made this recently and share their makes on the fold line. A lot of people absolutely love the shaping and the style it gives you. It really gives you a lovely flattering shape. The side zip is well needed, I think, to just sort of tailor you in a little bit more. The deep V-neck, um, as I say, can be tailored. You can always sew that up a little bit higher if it's not to your cup of tea. If you prefer something a bit more modest, you can easily fix that up. But I love the dress. I love the cap sleeve again. You can see a little bit of a theme with my dresses. I do love a cap sleeve or even just more of a floaty sleeve. I didn't have any problems at all with fitting. I just sewed the straight size 14. I'll link the episodes that I've spoken about all of these patterns to so you can re-watch them if you haven't seen them. It'll go into much more detail. This one does call for a tearaway violin, which is almost like a stabilizer for the neckline. You could quite easily just use any type of fusible. I think it would work really well. The violin is really good for just sort of ripping away. It does work really well, but it gives you that nice stability Otherwise, if you don't have any accessible to anything like that, you could always just stay stitch. I think it would work just as well. So I'll give you a little bit of a look, a little bit of a twirl. The lowest dress, really love the shape of it. Love the cut of the skirt, almost like a midi style skirt. I think it, um, it works really well for a lot of body shapes. It's um, a sort of dress you would wear for more for going out than being at home, but still comfortable enough to wear in the house. I really don't have any problem with it being any more restrictive because there's more shaping around the middle. I think it's just quite a comfortable, lovely style dress to wear that gives you a beautiful shape. So the Tazuti Lois dress, definitely one of my favorite summer dresses. On for the next one. I'll be back very shortly. 
Now this was one of my very first vlogs that I did last year. It's the Magnolia from Deer and Doe. One of the more dressy, classy, classic styles that I've made. I get complimented on this because everyone loves a flutter sleeve. I don't know anyone that doesn't. They're just so flattering. Such a beautiful drape and fall to the fabric. The dress itself is one of the more challenging dresses that I've listed here today, but I think that Deer and Doe patterns, we all know how well done they are, how their instructions are fantastic, and they really do hold your hand through the making process. I made a maxi one of these as well. This is the midi version. I will stand back and let you have a little bit of a look. This is in a lovely um, Georgette fabric. It's floaty, it's cool. It's something you could wear to a wedding or a party, um, and really, I think you could dress it up really lovely depending on your accessories and shoes, but this, I love the wrap around front, the deep neckline, but also that faux wrap. I think it works really well. And it also has the tie back that gives you that gorgeous shape. I think it works really well for a lot of different body shapes as well. So love the Magnolia dress. Definitely don't look past this. It's one of my firm favorites that I will reach for if I'm going out somewhere a bit more special. Um, one of my favorite summer dresses. The last of my favorite woven summer dresses today is none other than the uh, chalk and notch fringe dress. This can be made in a tunic or a blouse style top as well, which I've made two of those. This is my dress version. Love, as I say, rayon again, viscose rayon, lovely drapey fabric. Love that it's got pockets as well. And the front detail, I think it was just gorgeous. I remember the first one I made, I was a little bit concerned with the bust. It does also have different bust sizes in the pattern. You'll see, I'll link this episode again, so you can watch it if you haven't seen it already. Uh, I'll go through the making process as well. But yeah, this is one of my most favorite dresses to wear for summer. Cool and comfortable. Made it to the knee length. I just think it's very wearable. Definitely love to wear it over tights and leggings as well. So I've made it in, I think I made this in an, uh, in winter last year, believe it or not, to get ready for summer. And I wore it both through both seasons. Sometimes the colors you choose can determine when you wear it most. I tend to wear more deep sort of darker colors in winter and more bright and vibrant or pastels in summer. So yeah, I love the fact that you can have the button front or you can have the lovely shaped neckline, which is also, it looks beautiful and flattering on as well. And I love the length of the sleeves. I think it's just got a little bit extra cuff sleeve if you're wanting something other than a cap sleeve. I loved making this dress. I just think it's a really gorgeous style that I'll make again and again. Chalk or notch patterns are always terrific as well. If you haven't tried them, do look at their website as well for some ideas. I made two tops in this as well. One in a linen, another one in a beautiful art gallery round, which I think I've shown you guys before as well. So you're really happy with the fringe dress. Definitely one to look up for your summer makes. Well, I hope you enjoyed that today. Don't forget I've got my favorite knit summer dresses coming out next time for you to have a look at. These of course aren't all necessarily new patterns. Some of them have been around for quite a while and they're just ones that I know worked really well for me and for my body shape and also just the practicality of them and how much I've loved wearing them. So don't forget to tune in for that. I'm gonna try and do a series on these every season so you guys can see what I've made, like a bit of a roundup. Things that I know have stood the test of time. A lot of things I've had for two or three years and, and kept wearing them as well. So I think that's another thing. Um, when you do a pattern review, sometimes you might have just freshly made it and you haven't put it through the ringer and worn it every day to see how it wears. When you have made something that you've worn multiple times and you can give a true review on, I think it's great to help the viewer decide what they're going to make and what they're going to put their time into. So there are my favorite summer woven dresses. I'm sure as time goes on, I'll be adding more and more to the list as well. So I um, hope that gives you a bit of inspiration to get your summer sewing going. If you've enjoyed this video today, don't forget to like, that way more people can find this channel and we can get more people involved in the whole sewing community. Take care everybody, happy sewing. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.